Glenn? Do you want me to come in with you? No, I'm fine. Okay. Come through, Glenn. Well, how can I help you today? Oh, Mum says I need a checkup. What's she worried about? Mm, I'm just tired all the time and, and I don't go to school. How long has that been going on for? Ages. Days, weeks, months? Uh, uh, a couple of months now, yeah. Since around when? Oh, about, about August. Mm, that's a while. How's your sleeping? No good, no. What happens? You can't sleep or you wake up and can't get back to sleep? Oh, I just... I just can't get to sleep. So it's hard to get to sleep and I guess it's hard to wake up? Yeah, yeah. You eating okay? Oh, uh, when I'm hungry I suppose, yeah. Before you found yourself tired all the time, what were you like? What did you have energy for? Oh, just, just about everything, I suppose. I mean, I used to play basketball. And now? Nothing much. I'm going to ask you a few questions about being tired. Now, being tired can sometimes be because you've got a bug or an illness, and we'll need to check that out later on. But sometimes it's because you're, you're down or depressed. If you were to rate yourself on this scale, say with 10 being you feel fantastic and happy, and zero is you feel really down, like not wanting to be alive. Where would you be right now? Uh, about three. Yeah, about three. Three, that's pretty low, isn't it? Do you ever get lower than three? Oh, sometimes, yeah. How low? About two or one. You must be feeling pretty hopeless about life. Hmm. Back when you were playing basketball, before this happened, how would you rate yourself on the same scale? About six or seven. This is a big change for you. Yeah, I guess so. Listening to you, I think that you're dealing with being depressed. And I'm a bit worried about how low you are. I suspect sometimes you feel so hopeless that it's hard to keep going from day to day. We need to talk some more about this in a minute. But what I can tell you is that lots of young people experience depression. And almost everyone gets better with some talking over and some time. I know you can't imagine this at the moment because the thing about depression is that you think you'll feel like this forever and things will never get better. I know it's hard to believe, but you will feel better. The good news is there are, there are quite a few things we can do and I know they work because I've worked with a lot of young people like you before. But I think right now, some people in your life might need to know that things are not good for you at the moment. They're going to get better, but we need people to lay off and maybe quit telling you off, if that's been the case, until we get this sorted out. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs>